Tanstack made an AI SDK. Yep, that's right, in Tanstack's seemingly never-ending quest to improve the JavaScript world, an AI SDK to rival the cells is the next step in that. Now, it is currently in alpha, so I wouldn't recommend using this in production, and things may change, but I like the goal that they've stated of an honest, open-source set of libraries across multiple languages that works with your existing stack instead of replacing it. It's also super impressive for an alpha release. It already has server support across multiple languages. So far, that's JavaScript, PHP, and Python. It has client libraries for React, Solid, and Vanilla.js, with more coming soon like Svelte. And it's got providers for OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, and Alama. So let me take you through some of its features that I use to build out a basic chatbot with web search. We'll start out nice and simple. This is all of the code that you need on the server to start streaming text. You can see we're using the chat function from the Tanstack AI package. This is the core library. Then we also have the OpenAI adapter so we can use OpenAI's models. You can see in chat, you just pass it through some options. We pass through the adapter we want to use. We pass through the messages that we're getting from our post request, the model that we're going to use. And of course, since we're using the OpenAI adapter, this is now going to be type safe. So it knows of all of the models that we can use via OpenAI. Then you also pass it through the conversation ID that you get from the post request. Once you get that, you simply get a stream of chunks and we can simply consume that and turn it into a HTTP response by using the to stream response function that we also get from Tanstack AI. So a lot of this is going to look very familiar if you've used the Vassell AI SDK. I guess there isn't too many ways to reinvent the wheels for the absolute basics here, but where I'm expecting Tanstack to excel is in that type safety and just the overall developer experience. They have a very good track record of being good at that stuff. A good example of this for me is in the provider options. Not only does Tanstack know of all of the available models like we saw earlier, but also knows the provider options to go along with those models. You can see here if I want reasoning on these models, it's going to know of all of the options that we can choose for this. So I'll choose medium. And it's also going to know if that's applicable for the model. So if I change the model to something like GPT-40, you can see we immediately get a type error as that doesn't have the same reasoning options. So I'll change that back to GPT-5 and everything works. This is actually something that I struggled with in the Vassell AI SDK. Sometimes it was unclear what provider options each model would take. And there were ways to cast the options to OpenAI's package, but overall, I just found the experience worse than what we have built in here. What I am curious about though is if this will ever be compatible with a service like Open Router. There's not an adapter yet, but I would love to see one. But I am curious if this type method would work, as you need to know the provider options for every single model that's being added to Open Router, and they add loads of them all the time, so that's going to be a lot of types. Regardless of that though, we are now ready to consume this on our client. For that, we just need the relevant client package. You can see in my case, I'm using React, but there's also one for Solid and a vanilla JS framework agnostic one that you can use as well if you're using anything else. Once we've done that, all we need to do is use the use chat hook. Yes, very similar to Vassell AI SDK's one. And then here we have our connection and we can use the fetch server events helper here. As you can see, this is simply going to consume the API endpoint that we set up earlier and it's gonna handle that response for us. With that, the hook simply returns all of the messages, a send message function and its is loading state. Now we have everything that we need to set up a simple chatbot. To do that in React here, I simply set up a handle submit for the form that we send. So this is simply going to send the message that we have in the input and then just set the input to blank. And then you can see down here, we map over the messages that we get back. Each message here is going to have a role that can be assistant or it can be the user. And again, this is all going to be nice and type safe. So this is going to know whether that's a mistake or not. And if we change that back, you can see down here, we can map over the parts of each message as well. So we have thinking parts. We also have text parts. So that's just going to be the normal message. Then there's also tool call and tool results for when we add in some tooling. So most of this is just simple React code mapping over that array. So I'm not gonna focus on this too much as most of this is now just styling. So this is what we have so far by using the use chat hook on the client side and simply the chat function on the server side. I can now ask GPT-5 something like who is the current F1 champion? And here we can see it going through its thinking and then quickly it gives us the answer that Max Verstappen is the current F1 driver's champion, except that is wrong. That is last year's information. So now I want to connect this to web search so we can get up to date live info. To do that, the first thing we need is a tool definition. This lets you define the tool schema and also give it a description of what this tool is going to do. So here you can see I simply have an input schema that has our query of what the AI wants to search and then also the maximum number of results that we'll get back and then a description of what this tool is doing so the AI knows when it should pick this tool. Once we have our definition, which came from the tool definition function of Tanstack AI, this can now be used either client side or server side 
side as it is now isomorphic. So it depends on how you want to implement this. So you want this to run on the end user's browser or on the server. In my case, since this is a service which I'll be using with an API key, I'm going to be doing it all on the server. But imagine if you wanted to do a UI update or send a notification, you could set up a client tool as well. All you need to do to set up what happens when the tool is actually executed is simply take your definition, either say server or client, depending on where this is going to run, and then simply provide the function that will run when the tool is executed. You can see here we have the parameters which are coming from the input schema, so they've been validated for us. And in my case, I simply send off a fetch request to an API called Tavili, which is going to handle the web search for us. Then we can simply return that as a JSON response. Then all we need to do to let the model use our tool is simply provide it in the chat function underneath the tools array here. You can see I've added in the search internet one. Then on the front end, all I've done is added in the tools array onto the use chat hook as well, but this time I'm using the definition as it's not going to be running on the client. We simply just want to know the definition so that we have type safety. You can see down here where we have the map of our messages. We can now say if the part type is a tool call, and then we can use part.name to actually get the tool itself. So if we're using the search internet tool, so this is good if you have multiple. And again, you can see this is type safe, so it knows if we're typing in the wrong tool name, so it's going to know all of them. With that simple tool set up, now if I ask it the same question of who the current F1 champion is, we can see it goes through its normal thinking process. Now it's searching the web using my tool. And finally, now that it's searched the internet, it correctly returns that Lando Norris is the current F1 champion. And you can see I've also set up a sources section here. So that was a flyby of my simple experiments with Tanstack AI, and I've only touched the surface of what Tanstack AI already has in its alpha. There's more things like client-side tools, hybrid tools, approval flows for human in the loop calls, and agentic cycle management, and there's just much, much more. Like apparently they're working on headless chatbot UI components, similar to how Vassell has their AI elements. One thing I must say though, is in my experiments, I haven't seen too much that's done differently from Vassell's AI SDK, so I am excited to see what gets added in the future that might differentiate it. But regardless of that, competition is always is helpful to push both of the packages to improve. The only hurdle that I can see Tanstack might have to get over, and that I did, is the fact that the Vassell AI SDK is over two plus years old, so I found that constantly Cursor Tab and all of the AI models were trying to write Vassell AI SDK code when using similar functions like the use chat hook. I am curious though how you found tools like the Vassell AI SDK. Personally, I use it all the time and haven't run into too many issues, so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below while you're there subscribe, and as always, see you in the next one.